Welcome back to this old house, After Hours, Antiques Roadshow Nature Edition. Now, PBS has a real knack for running the programming together, but we can always work with that. Look at concern on the cameraman's face. Keep rolling anyway. Now, tonight we're going to see what Mother Nature has for us in, in store for us here. What's gonna, what's, what does Mother Nature want us to find, and what do we need to talk about here? When that question arises, you always consult your illustrated wildlife treasury box. Now, this was, this was created back in the 70s, but it's really still useful. A lot of extinct animals hanging out in this box. Get you kind of depressed if you think about it too much. Today, we'll be looking for the hazel dormouse. And uh, this little critter likes to have pecans, or walnuts, any, any kind of uh, legume or uh, root or berry he can get his little paws on. He'll go snacking on it. And uh, we're going to look for him here. We're out, at an, we're out at a nice country estate and see if we can't track him down here. Now, enough from me. Let's really get to the adventuring. Get out your leopard print uh, umbrella if you have one. If you have a black one, that's fine too. But it's got to either be black or a leopard print. And uh, if you don't have one, you can just forget about it. You can't do you can't do nature exploring without one of the two. I don't mean to be, uh, you know, I don't mean to be kind of discouraging at home here. Everyone can do their own nature thing, but you got to have the right umbrella. And I think we've made our point here. So uh, I mentioned we're out at a country estate. It's actually kind of uh, in the city too. You know, a little bit of both. Hear those wild sirens going. Now, we'll be really careful coming down these steps here, nice and slick. And uh, take shelter if you need to here, underneath this umbrella. Stopped at Red Lobster for lunch after this afternoon. It was absolutely terrible. Now those little uh, dormouses. They like to hang out over here by your porch, and I think I see a little uh, where they've been digging in here. Um, the ground is perforated, small hole here, nice moth covering all around it. Looks like a perfect place for a little dormouse to hang out. And uh, what you want to do here is just put a little, uh, a little leaves down in it, and uh, you'll know if they're coming and going the next day because they'll, uh, they'll be really irritated with you for doing that. They'll shred the leaf to pieces. And if they can, they'll set it on fire. Now, they might have to get a little help from god gnomes, but that's no problem after midnight. You know those god gnomes come to life. They get really animated. And uh, not to get uh, disturbed here, but we're running out of time. The rain's really coming down, so we're going to have to head down this way a little if we can. And uh, classic wheelbarrow setup here. Really nice. Um, you want to leave it out so it collects a lot of water. And uh, they'll also find rose petals. That's a sign of spring. Spring's right around the corner here. And we can go ahead and cut here. I think we have enough information.